Hey everybody and welcome to episode 343 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, May 24th, 2017. Ricky, we had the Aurelia Comic Con over the weekend. Yes. Uh, you were set up there. It's a good times. It was a it was a it was a good show. It's a good show. You got to meet a lot of new fans up there, I hope. Yeah, I call them my gorillas. Your gorillas. There's my those are my fans from Aurelia. They're your <laughs> gorillas, okay. <laughs> Alright. What was your favorite takeaway from the show? Favorite takeaway from the show was selling new books, new people, getting out into a new market, you know? Right. It's always a good thing when you're trying to be a successful comic creator, I suppose. Semi-successful. Semi-successful. <laughs> and when's the next show for you, Ricky? Montreal Comic Con. Montreal. So that's coming up in June, Montreal? July. July. First weekend. All right. Well, uh, you know, in between uh, now and Montreal Comic Con, Ricky, we're having a very special event here at Stadium Comics on Saturday, June 3rd. Uh, we're doing Free Comic Book Day Part 2, you know, Montreal. All right. Ah. All right. So it is, uh, it is our customer appreciation event, and it also happens to be Wonder Woman Day. So DC Comics is kindly sending us a bunch of uh, free Wonder Woman stuff to give away. There's a free Wonder Woman comic, a free bracelet set, and tiara. Uh, you know, they're not going to be like solid gold, these things. They're probably going to be made oh, out yeah. of cardboard. But still, it's going to be pretty badass. Uh, and then we're going to have uh, a bunch of free books here. There'll be a Wonder Woman cosplayer here. And uh, we're also going to have our good friend Vince Sunico, uh, who we haven't had out to the store in a while. Very uh, popular artist around these parts. Uh, he'll be on hand to uh, do Wonder Woman sketches or sketches of anything else you want to get on that day. And we're going to have a big sale and a lot more free comics other than just the Wonder Woman book as well. So it's a day you're not going to want to miss if you are in the Greater Toronto area. Stay tuned to our Facebook page for more details on that event as they become available. Ricky, let's get to this week's books. Go ahead and open some boxes. Alright, first up for the comics this week we have Victor Laval's Destroyer, number one from Boom Studios. This book was a smash hit when it hit shelves last month. Uh, Redneck issue number one. Uh, here we have the second printing for that book. And I know this book's going to be in demand because there were so many people that came in after the first issue was launched wanting to buy a copy, but th these things were sold out everywhere. Uh, so here is the second printing. Here is Redneck issue two, first printing, because this is new on shelves today. Samaritan Veritas number one from Top Cow and Image Comics. Yet another Archie book uh, hitting shelves today. This is a one shot uh, about the formation of the band, the Archies. So uh, all you Archie and Riverdale fans want to pick this book up. Uh, there are a few different covers. Here is the regular cover. And here are a couple of the variant covers. Powerpuff Girls, The Time Tie, issue number one. Microdots, The Wrath of Karza, number one. Die Kitty Die, Hollywood or Bust, number one. Here's Exo Manowar, issue number three from Valiant. Fourth Planet, number five, from our friend Fred Kennedy and the folks at Chapter House. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, issue 54, has two covers. All right, moving on to DC Comics, we've got Injustice, Ground Zero, number 12. Justice League of America, number 7. Action Comics, number 980. Deathstroke, number 19. Batgirl, number 11. Blue Beetle, number 9. Batman Beyond, number 8. Detective Comics, number 957. Suicide Squad, number 18. Wonder Woman, number 23. And Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 21. All right, moving on to Marvel, we've got Star-Lord Annual, issue number one. Uh, this is written by Chip Zdarsky. Weapon X, number one. This is a second printing. Here's Black Panther, number 14. Guardians of the Galaxy, number two. Sorry, the all-new Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number two. Jean Grey, number two. The Mighty Captain Marvel, number five. This is a Secret Empire tie-in book as is Secret Warriors, number two, and Steve Rogers, Captain America, number 17. X-Men Blue, number four. I Am Groot, number one, a new comic today from Marvel. Here is the hip-hop cover for Groot, number one. Sorry, I Am Groot, number one. And the variant cover, 
uh, which is pretty damn cool. All right, Eddie Brock is back, and legacy numbering is back from Marvel Comics, and the uh, corner box art is back as well. Uh, it is Venom, it is a oversized 150th issue, and uh, a lot of people are excited about this book. It is uh, $5.99 US for this. Uh, there's one thing I want to show you in the book that's really cool. It's not going to spoil anything story-wise. But there is a Venom cover gallery. Well, maybe I shouldn't show you the last page of the comic. There's a Venom cover gallery inside that shows you all 150 covers that uh, Venom has uh, had over the uh, last uh, couple of decades. So very cool if you are a Venom collector and a Venom fan. Here is the Scotty Young variant cover. The variant cover by James Stokey. Here is uh, another variant cover. This has got like a uh, painted look to it. And here is the 1 in 100 Adam Kubert uh, variant cover. Very cool. All right guys, prize time. Last week I asked you what you would use a cosmic cube for. Uh, we got some pretty awesome answers. Albert Bailey said I would make me happy and put me in a contentful place in my life. Ooh. <laughs> Oh man, you need a hug, dude? Just come to the stadium, I'll give you a hug. Uh, Muskoka Joel said, I would use the cube to make Lady Death happy. She is smoking, and I would do absolutely anything for her. Muskoka Joel is also Thanos. So, congratulations, Thanos. Maybe you can use the Cosmic Cube for good. Uh, Matt Murdock said, I would use the Cosmic Cube to make every item on Taco Bell's menu a value item. One dollar Burrito Supremes would make my life. Indeed. I'd be like 600 pounds at that point. I love Taco Bell. I mean, it looks like trash and everything about it is trash, but it tastes so good. I love it. So if it was all a dollar, watch out. The Mac Phantom said I would use the Cosmic Cube to bring back flavorful reviews. Single tier, rip flavorful reviews. Their irreverent humor has no place in today's world. Uh, one kid posse said I would use the Cosmic Cube to become Ricky's twin. We would use our unexplainable twin tuition to make every freaky f to make every Friday freaky and be so awesome that Minnesota would name their baseball team after us. I don't know what the Minnesota baseball team has to do with it. Kevin, what's the Minnesota baseball team? They're called the Minnesota Twins. Oh, they're called the Twins. That's why. Okay. All right. Uh, so what would they call them though? If we're twins, they would just call them twins, right? Or would they call them like? Ricky and one Kid Posse twins, perhaps. Uh, Obi Juan said I would use the Cosmic Cube to make Ricky the mayor of the universe. He'd be universally loved just like chicken. I taste just like chicken too. So, come and have a taste. <laughs> uh, but the winner goes to Anthony G who says I would use the Cosmic Cube to alter our main source of energy, change the discovery of coal fossil fuels, and have people realize we have an endless energy source through the sun, wind, and water. There you go, man. I think that is probably the most altruistic way of using the Cosmic Cube. It's beautiful, and our whole world thanks you. So congratulations, Anthony G. You'll be entered into the draw uh, next week. All right, today's question is in honor of I am Groot number one. What I'd like to know from you is if you could only have one phrase or one word that you can only say, what would that phrase be? Um, I think for me, my one phrase would be, where is the washroom? That way, uh, if I need the washroom, people know what I'm asking for. And then everything else doesn't matter. Because, you know, I could be like, where is the washroom? And they'd be like, I don't know, I don't understand. I'd be like, where is the washroom? You can say it in so many different ways, it's beautiful. So let us know in the comments if you can only have one phrase, what would it be? And the best answer would be entered into the draw next week. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Ricky, uh, you're feeling very victorious about this yeah, week? Yeah, This week is a good week. Yeah? A lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. Which book are you most looking forward to reading? Well, uh, my pull list is very anemic now, so I'm looking forward to reading a Venom 150. Alright, good. Tradmore art. Like this. Can't go wrong with some Tradmore art. And that James um, Stokey variant. Woo! We picking that up? Uh, I'm not made of money. Uh, alright, alright. <laughs> alright, I called you out on it. It's all good. You know, you know you get a very generous discount as a uh, 
member of the Unboxing Wednesday's team. That is true. All right. Uh, so, everyone, you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Uh, we got a lot of awesome things coming up in the future, so make sure you're following us definitely on Facebook and the Insta. Um, that's what we call the Instagram. Us yeah. kids, yeah. We call it the, the Insta. Um, and then uh, make sure you uh, check us out next week when we unbox comics all over again on episode 344 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your comics this week.